The Big Brother Monopoly Power of Veto competition is underway. Chad and Charlene are already eliminated. Who's next? Find out tonight on Big Brother Cheesecake. Hello, I'm Andrew Shevsik. Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake. It's day 66 inside the house, and yesterday we began the Big Brother Monopoly Power Veto competition. This week, Lisa's the head of household, and she nominated Charlene and Tiffany for eviction. Charlene has already been eliminated, but Tiffany, Lisa, Jeffrey, and Debbie are still in the game. Okay, let's continue. Oh, and let us I'll give a quick update. Tiffany is at 6.30. Lisa, 11.30, Jeffrey, 8.40, Debbie, 200. Also, this morning, Charlene decided to tell Chad off. She said, <clears throat> Hey, Chad, you dipstick. To answer your question about being nominated again, put it this way. This old gal made it this far, and if I happen to go to jury and you make it to final two, you won't get my vote. You're a floater and maybe even a flipper with a big mouth. You're so out there, you're just hoping that everyone won't notice your game of hiding right in front of your faces, but I see it all. You won't make it if I have anything to do with it. Enjoy your time while you still have it, you big loser. Thanks, Andrew, for knocking me out of the game so quick, you motherfucker. But I'm glad Chad's out, too. And Lisa's lucky she has a horseshoe up her ass. She's going to need more if I make it through this week. Bitch, even in Monopoly, you're the old hag collecting life insurance. That's right, dipstick. Do you call me dipstick because you want me to dip my stick in you? That's so nice that you have such confidence in your little stick. It's not about how big it is. It's about how you use it. I use it with force. Mighty Minnie Mouse. Okay, let's get back to the Monopoly game. The 10 minutes will begin right now. Tiffany, you are up first. You are on Community Chest. Three. One, two, three. Well, Tiffany would have won a $500 bonus on free parking. I debated having a bonus. Um, the house guests didn't want it. I don't like it either, so it all works out. But free space for Tiffany. Lisa. Eight. Lisa passes go and gets two hundred dollars, which puts her up to thirteen thirty. Uh, Mediterranean Avenue is Tiffany's. That's the second time we're landing on it. Second time for Mediterranean is thirty dollars. So Lisa goes down to thirteen hundred. Tiffany goes up to six sixty. Jeffrey money bag five. One, two, three, four, five. Luxury tax, hundred dollars. Down to seven forty. Debbie, the thimble. Debbie, you only have two hundred dollars. You cannot lose more than that. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Waterworks is owned is a utility that's owned by yourself. So good for you. Okay, so after that round, score is pretty similar. There it is. Okay. Next round. Tiffany. Eight. Doubles, by the way. Waterworks, that is Debbie's. Eight times ten is eighty dollars. So Debbie gets eighty. She goes up to two eighty. Tiffany loses eighty and goes to five eighty. Lease. Oh, doubles. Tiffany goes again. Four, doubles again. She gets it again. She's in jail. One, two, three, four. North Carolina Avenue. That's green. Owned by Lisa. First time we're landing on the green properties. Green, North Carolina with one house. 130 for Lisa. Lisa goes up to 1430. Tiffany goes down to 450. Doubles again. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two hundred dollars for passing go, and Mediterranean is your own property. Lisa. Five. Two, three, four, five. Oriental Avenue. 
I think that's your own. Yes. Jeffrey. Two. Go. Two hundred dollars. Up to nine forty. And double, so you roll again. Five. Red Reading Railroad. That is the second time we're landing on a railroad. It's Tiffany, so that's fifty dollars to Tiffany. Tiffany goes up to seven hundred. Jeffrey is down to eight ninety. Debbie. Four doubles. One, two, three, four. North Carolina Avenue is Lisa's. So Debbie has 280. That's the second time we're landing on green. And North Carolina costs 390, which means Debbie, you are eliminated. Your 280 goes to Lisa, puts her up to 1710. Debbie, you are bankrupt. And all of Debbie's properties go to Lisa. So after round, I think that's five, we have Tiffany has 700. Lisa has 1710. Jeffrey has 890. All right, Tiffany's up. Tiffany is the horse. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Vermont Avenue. Light blue. That's Lisa's. It's the fifth time we're landing on it, so it's a hotel. Vermont with a hotel is 550 to Lisa. Debbie goes, uh, excuse me, Tiffany goes down to 150. Lisa goes up to 2260. Looks like Lisa's running away with it. Lisa. Three. One, two, three. Connecticut Avenue. That's your own. Who knew that Lisa would be winning with these dinky-ass light blue properties that she won 50 trillion years ago? Okay, Jeffrey. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. St. Charles Place is pink, and that's your own. Same, the score is similar after that round. Okay, we're going to do one more round. Tiffany, you have 150. You cannot afford to lose more than 150. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Virginia Avenue is Jeffries. That is a pink property. Fourth time we're landing on it. $700. Tiffany, you are eliminated. So after day two, the two people who had the best properties going into this, Debbie and Tiffany, just had bad rolls and ended up being eliminated. So we are actually down to Lisa and Jeffrey. And hold on, I got to update that because your money, hold on. Tiffany's money goes to Jeffrey. That puts Jeffrey up to 1040. Who will win the power of veto? Lisa or Jeffrey, and will they use it to save Charlene or Tiffany from the block? Find out tomorrow on Big Brother Cheesecake. Thursday is the Power of Veto ceremony, Friday the final two nominees win their case, and Saturday is the next live eviction and head of household competition where the evicted house guests will join Aiden, Marissa, and Melody in the jury house. I'm Andrew Shepsick. Take care. Bye-bye.